Traits are PHP's way of adding extra functionality to a class. Simply, traits contain reusable logic. You may find yourself asking, why do we need a trait? Can't we just extend another class? In fact, you can do that. A class or an abstract class as a parent or base works really well when sharing logic. But what happens when you have logic from two classes you would like to reuse? As I record this tutorial, PHP does not allow you to extend two classes at the same time. So this is where traits come in. Right here, I have a simple project open and it's called PHP traits. In our source directory, we have a couple folders here for base traits and then a couple classes. Within our base folder, we have a base car class. So let's take a look at that. Very simple, it just has one method here that says wheels and it returns has four wheels. It then has an abstract public function called seats and that just means we have to invoke this method in the class that is extending this parent or base class. So let's take a look at BMW class. So the BMW extends base car class and we have seats. So it returns has two seats. So let's take a look to see how this actually works. In our index.php file, we are importing the BMW class, creating a new instance here, and we are saying echo BMW seats. So let's take a look at our terminal and actually run that file. So php index.php and we are getting the output of has two seats. That's exactly what we expect. So back to our IDE. If we go to BMW class, let's try and actually use a trait. So in our traits folder, you notice we have convertible and luxury. So let's use the first one called convertible. But before we use it, let's take a look. This is the trait. It looks very similar to a class. In fact, the only difference here at the moment is that trait is the keyword instead of class. So you say trait and then the name of the trait. We have one method in here and that is the drop roof button. And all it does is it returns drop soft top. So let's see if we can use this trait. Go to our BMW class. And at the top of the class, we say use convertible. Now you can see the IDE picks it up. If you're not using an IDE, it may not, but just remember you need to write out the name of the trait. So in this case, it's convertible. And my IDE has already imported the class. If yours did not, don't worry, just add it in manually. App traits convertible is the namespace of my trait. So use convertible. And now we should have access to the drop roof button. Let's take a look in our index.php again. And we are going to echo out BMW. And you see my IDE shows us what we have access to. And that is wheels, drop roof button, and seats. That's exactly what we wanted to see. And let's just output that to the terminal. This backslash n is just to make sure it goes in a new line. Go back to the terminal. And has two seats, drops up top. That's exactly what we wanted to see. And sorry, that backslash n is actually to make sure the next thing goes in the next line, just to be clear there. So now we have successfully used a trait. And what if we want to use our second trait? Our second trait over here is called luxury. So there are numerous methods here that we can use. So let's try and use them. So to add a second trait, all you need to do is do comma and type out the name of the trait you want to use and remember to import that trait at the top. So now I do have access to all my methods that are from the luxury trait. So we have drop, roof button, sport mode, seats, wheels. So let's try to use sport mode. Go back to our index and we echo out BMW and then we go to sport mode. So that's exactly what we wanted. And once again, let's just add this. Okay, go back to our terminal and now let's run that code and we get a PHP fatal error. Trait method drop roof button has not been applied because there are collisions with other trait methods. So this is expected. So if we go back to our IDE, notice that 
our conversible trait, which is the first one we applied, has a method called drop roof button. If we look at our luxury trait, it also has a method called drop roof button. So this can happen in the real world. You may have two traits that you want to use, but they may have methods with identical names. Now you don't really want to go in and change those names because those traits may be used elsewhere. What you can do to avoid this naming conflict is this. So we go to BMW class and we need to open curly braces and we say, okay, I want to use the luxury trait, the drop roof button from the luxury trait. And I'm going to say instead of the convertible. So what this does, it says, okay, okay, PHP, look at the luxury trait, use that method and ignore the convertible drop roof button. So let's see now, go back to our terminal. Will we have any naming conflicts? And no, we don't. We are using our sport mode method as well as the convertible method too. So that's great. That's exactly what we wanted to see. But what if we still wanted to keep the other drop roof button? Well, you can do that as well. So what you need to do is go to convertible, drop roof button, and we alias it. So all we've got to do is use as and then name it whatever we like. I'm going to do drop soft top button. Because, you know, if we look at this method here, it says drop soft top. That's it. So in my index, what I'm going to do is see if I'm going to have access to that. Echo BMW points here and drop soft top button. There we go. That's exactly what we wanted to see. And backslash n. Back to the terminal. And great, it works. Drop hard top and drop soft top still works. Let's go back to our IDE. Now there's something else that I would like to point out to you guys. So in our base class, we have a method called wheels. Okay. And it says has four wheels. But what happens if like our luxury trace over here has a method has four run flat wheels? What exactly takes precedence? Let's go to our index.php and find out. So we go to BMW pointer and go to our wheels method. And then once again, let's just add the new line. Okay, go back to terminal, run it again. And we get the output of has four run flat wheels. So back to our IDE and we do this and it says has four run flat wheels. And this is coming from the trait. So the rule here is that a trait method will override a base or parent class. So what happens then if you have a method in your trait? So let's say seats and in your BMW class. So the class that's using the trait also has a method seats. So we have has two seats here in our class and in our trait we have has two leather seats. So let's see what's being outputted. We're already outputting seats here. So we all have to check our terminal output and it says has two seats. So that is actually coming from a class. So why is it not coming from our trait? That's just the precedence that PHP gives to a trait. If you have a method within a trait and then you have the same method within the class that's using the trait, the method in the class takes precedence. So those are two rules I'd like you to remember. Class methods override trait methods, but trait methods override base methods. So that is how you would use traits in PHP. These are very basic examples. Hopefully the concept is sunken in and you really understand how you can use traits. Traits can use properties as well. If you need any more information, those sort of things, take a look at the PHP manual. There's a bunch of information there for you to take a look at. That's it for now, guys. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.